Want help to grow your business? Download Bryn, the world's first business advisor in your pocket. To find out more, visit Bryn.ai or search the App Store today. Welcome back to another episode of Google Made Easy. My name is Peter Moriarty and I am really glad to have you here. In today's episode, we are going to be covering how to get even more, even more out of Google Sites. This is our advanced session on Google Sites. So if you haven't already, make sure you check out our beginner and our intermediate episodes on Google Sites. And uh, this is the advanced one where we get into some really cool stuff. So um, I hope you're following along and I hope you're as excited as I am to share all of these cool tips with you. So two quick things before we get started. Remember, number one, this is going to be a highly practical session. So make sure you've got your computer there ready to go, all set up and ready to implement as we go through. And uh, number two, if you've got uh, you know pen and paper, you want to have that uh, just there to take some notes, that's totally fine as well. Uh, now, big thing number two is make sure that you are sharing your comments, your feedback, your questions with the Business Blueprint community. So use the hashtag Google Made Easy and you can connect with myself uh, and with other members of the Business Blueprint community online via that hashtag. So what are we going to cover today? We are going to cover our advanced session on Google Apps, which is going to include, uh, we're going to touch back on customizing the vertical navigation menu, which is where we left off on our intermediate session, if you remember that one. Uh, next up, we're going to go through how to change the background image. So we're going to get it super personalized and get it looking nice and sexy for your business with your own background. Next up, we'll go through creating list pages. So I'll show you what a list page is, where you should use one, and uh, how to get that set up. A uh, couple of other page types we're going to be covering. One of those is creating announcements and blog pages. So what are the announcements pages? What can you use them for? And how are they best utilized in your business? Next up, file locker pages. Uh, these are an interesting one. I'm going to show you how they work and what you can use them for. Next up is a sub page listing. So if you've got a, a parent page uh, or a department page and you want to have a listing of all of the sub pages under there actually on the page, we're going to show you how to do that. Pretty cool. Next up, creating page templates. So page templates will help you create new pages faster, um, or if you want a more orderly fashion on how your pages are organized, you can use page templates for that. I'm going to show you how to get into it. Uh, next up is copying or moving your Google site to another domain. So this is a really advanced one. This is, well, what happens if we want to copy the, uh, copy the whole site to another domain, copy it to our Gmail address, uh, make a copy of it so we can start a new business or something like that, or, uh, or move it on for another business partner, or whatever. Um, we're going to show you how to do that. And then finally, uh, our final trick for Google Sites is other creative uses that you can use Google Sites for. And I'm going to show you my own personal Google Site and show you how I I use Google Sites uh, for my personal life. You can use it for all kinds of other users outside of business, and I'm going to show you how we do that. So let's get started. I'm super, super excited to have you here, and we're going to get rocking and rolling on our first tip. Now, in the previous session, we talked about customizing the navigation menu of your Google Site, and we've started with the basics of a vertical navigation menu. So we're going to touch back on that, and, um, and I'm going to show you how we can get a little bit more out of the options that we started with on that vertical navigation menu. So let's go ahead and take a look at my computer and I'm going to show you back inside our Sunshirt site uh, how we can add and modify that vertical navigate, sorry, the horizontal navigation menu. Okay, so in our site here, uh, we just go ahead and we click the More Actions button. And remember, you need to be a site administrator or a site owner for this to actually work. So you can't have just edit permissions. You need to actually be a site owner. And what we're going to do is we're going to go down to Edit Site Layout, which is going to bring, out, uh, bring up our layout editor. And uh, you'll notice here that I can click over the different areas of the layout. Um, so the sidebar, we've got the uh, header there. And if I click on our horizontal navigation that we created, then I can open that up. Now, if you haven't already created one of those, you can switch it on or off just by clicking the horizontal navigation button. Nice and easy. There we go. It's disappeared. And let's click it again. And that's going to bring it back for us. Here we go. Cool. All right. So let's click into the horizontal navigation. And uh, we've got the pages that we've already created there. So if we want to customize this, let's say we want to put HR up the top, we can just move this manually. So remember that these uh, hor horizontal navigation tabs are not automatically categorized or organized by alphabetical order. We've got complete control 
over where we put those and how they appear. And uh, right now I've just got the department pages. So I've got finance, executive, HR and sales. Uh, I seem to have uh, forgotten administration. Let's go ahead and put that one in there. So we just click onto administration and we add that in there. But what we can also do is add a sub page to this menu as well. So if you've got a really important sub page and you want that sub page to actually pop up on the top menu, we can go ahead and add that one there too. So let's click the add page button and uh, we can drill down to one of our sales pages. So let's say maybe uh, calling scripts, that's one of the ones that we want to have up the top. Uh, we can click OK and that's going to add calling scripts there and we might even move that under sales. There we go. Now we can even go left and right to add these as sub tabs. See there, it can actually be set up as a sub tab. And let's have a look um, how that looks once we've added that into the site. So I'm going to go ahead and go close now and uh, we'll just wait for the site to refresh because it's going uh, to reload that site. Excellent. All right. Now, as you can see here, oh no, it hasn't quite loaded. Let's, uh, let's try to load it one more time. Let's make sure it loads our changes for us. Great. So you can see here we've got a top level menu, but as I hover over sales, you'll see that calling scripts, because I moved it um, one indent, it's actually made it a sub page of sales, which is really cool. So what that lets us do is create a more dynamic menu structure in our uh, horizontal menu here. Now it is all manual. It's not as uh, not as easy and automatic as the uh, as the vertical navigation. But for anything that's important that you might want to have uh, with a quick reference there, you can just uh, click straight through into the sub page there, nice and easily. And if I click the main menu header, uh, it's going to take me to the main home page, which is pretty cool. All right, great. So let's go back to editing our site layout. And uh, let's have a look at what other options we have here. Now, you would have noticed we can add either a site map or recent site activity. Um, and once we add those, that will just add them as additional buttons right on the menu there. So now let's take a look at this menu again and see what other options we have to get it edited. So you may or may not have noticed there's also an add URL button here. So what this lets us do is add the URL to any website, uh, either on the web or privately, so we can actually add that as one of our menu items. So let's have a look at uh, adding, let's put in our website here, IT Genius, and I'll go itgenius.com. And we can choose whether or not to open this link in a new window. So what that means is when someone clicks on it, do you want them to go straight to the website and, uh, and leave the Google site behind? Or do you want to open it in a new window so you can keep your Google site open? I normally tick this because if we're sending someone off our Google site, we probably still want them to have a copy of the Google site open. So as we've added that in there, you can see it's got the little uh, link uh, button there. We're going to go ahead and click OK. And uh, before I do that, I may as well show you the different styles. So there's box style, there's tab style, and there's link style. Let's go to boxes and you'll notice a slight difference when I, uh, when I click OK. And uh, here we go, that's our menu. It's just changed the style of those boxes. And then once we click close, we can test out our new link that we just created. So uh, we'll go to IT Genius. There we go, it's popped up. And, uh, and ITGenius.com is going to pop up. Um, cool, all right. So there we go. From there, we have our horizontal navigation all updated. Now, we started on that in the last episode, and now we're going to have a look at our vertical navigation. Let's have a look at what options we have to customize our vertical navigation menu. So to customize that menu, we're going to go to the same spot. We're going to click onto uh, More Actions and then Edit Site Layout. And then we can click onto our navigation widget here. Now, there's a um, obviously a title there. You can choose whether or not you want to display that title. You can even change the name. Um, this little box here is super, super important. Automatically organize my navigation. Now, what that means is the navigation is going to be automatically uh, sorted according to alphabetical order. So that's your top level departments and the sub pages under those departments as well. Now, the reason why we do this is so um, it's nice and organized and easy for everyone to find. But if you want to manipulate the order, of the different files. You don't necessarily have to untick this button because it puts it a little bit kind of mumbo jumbo all over the place. Uh, what you can do is, as we've already done, is add numbers in front of the different departments and that will manually order the different pages. So that's one little trick that you can do. We already showed you how to do that in our first episode when we created each one of those pages. So we're going to leave this box ticked for now, but it's important for you to understand that's where you can change whether or not things are sorted alphabetically. So um, the next one here is how many levels of pages do we want to show? And this is another important one because if you've got sub page, under sub page, under sub page, you may want to allow all of those sub pages to be shown 
in the navigation menu. So right now we've only selected two subpages, so that gives us our top level. You can see here we've got uh, HR, and then we've got one level below expense entry. And then we have sales, and we've got one level below calling scripts and sales training. Now, if we set this to all, what that's going to do is actually show us all levels of subpages. Now, I don't think we have more than two right now, but that'll be important later on as we build out our site. Um, as with the horizontal navigation, uh, we can also, if we want, include a link to the sitemap and or recent site activity. Uh, I'm going to click OK, and uh, there we go. It's going to make those changes. Now, if you want to add something extra to this sidebar alongside the navigation menu, you can go ahead and click the plus button. And what that's going to do is allow you to add little widgets to the sidebar here. So uh, one of my favorite ones is to add a countdown. Uh, and you can use the countdown to uh, count down to an event. Um, you know, maybe it's Christmas, maybe it's a, uh, a staff party, maybe it's one of your uh, you know, events for clients. Um, if you're running an event business, uh, you can use this countdown to set any date and set a countdown there. So um, let's go ahead and uh, let's set a countdown to Christmas. That's one that I, uh, that I like to do. Let's um, put that on there and call it Christmas. There we go. Cool. All right. And uh, once I save that one, it's going to count down the days uh, on that countdown right in our site. And uh, if I'd like to move that up to the top, I just drag and drop it. Um, and it'll sit up the top there. Now, one of the things that you may be thinking is, well, what if I've got subpage after subpage after subpage in my vertical navigation and I want it to be wider? I want to actually increase the space of the navigation menu. Let me show you how you can do that so you can fit all of your long page names into the vertical navigation menu. Now, this happens right up in our sidebar management. So you want to go to where it says sidebar and click on the little edit button. It's a little bit hard to see, so I'll zoom in here for you. You. There's a little pencil there. We want to click onto that one. And that's going to allow us to modify the settings for the sidebar. So we can choose whether it's displayed on the left or on the right. And we can choose a width as well. Um, I like something around the 400 pixels mark um, because that gives you lots and lots of room to work with. There you go. It's made a nice wide menu bar. To continue enjoying this presentation, download Brin, the world's first business advisor in your pocket. To find out more, visit Brin.ai or search the App Store today.